Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome to the Dyslexic Reader and welcome to an impromptu reader thorn vlog. I'm going to try and attempt the 25 and 5 reader thorn, which is to read for 25 hours but split over five days. So I'm still on Easter break from my main job. So I have them off. It's running from the 25th, which is a Thursday, through to the 30th which is the Monday. Um, I don't have really very many plans. Uh, fiance has Friday off, so we're thinking of maybe tomorrow night. It's currently Wednesday at like 9 p.m. I've just got home from work. The um, fiance has Friday off, so we're thinking that we might go tomorrow night up to our caravan for the weekend, so that would be nice if you could see that. Um, we'll see, we'll see what this vlog becomes. Before we start, because as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm going to start straight into this. I wanted to show you what books I am planning to read over the course of this. I'm not going to get all these done. But we have Failside by M.C. Carey. I am almost finished this. I have, I think, about 100 pages left. Let's see. I'm on 400. And yes, they're just shy of 500. So I have about 100 pages left of this. I thought I would leave. Not that I'm doing this on purpose, but I thought with leaving a little bit then when I start in the morning, I'll definitely get this finished tomorrow, which means I'll feel like I've accomplished something for the readathon no matter what. So I'm going to start with Bellside. Then I think I'll move on to the Q. This is a dystopian novel set in Egypt. And it is about where you literally have to queue to get anything done because you have to get permission from the government for everything but the queue is so long and so complicated that it never really moves and I think it's a story of just several people who are waiting in the queue for different reasons and basically just like kind of why they're in the queue and what ends up happening to them type thing I think it sounds interesting and it's quite short and I have a funny feeling it'll either be a really slow or a really quick way I'll read but either way for this readathon it's based on how long you read for rather than completing so many books or so many pages or so many challenges. So either way, it'll not really matter. And then finally, I would like to tackle this beast, which I will never get done. Oh, jankies, over 700 pages, but they are tiny. Um, This is City of Heavenly Fire, which is the last in the Shadowhunters. I started it in April last year. I enjoyed the first three. Haven't enjoyed four and five as much. This is six by started April last year so I kind of want to try and finish this last one in April this year um, just to kind of have this series ticked off the list. So I want this to be my last book for April if I can squeeze it in. So I think the Readathon will give me some motivation for that. So this is kind of like our mini TBR. I didn't tell you what fell side is about which I've got upside down. It is basically orange is the new black but with supernatural twist. It's about a girl who is in prison for um, a murder and there's kind of a supernatural twist and there's kind of did she do the murder? Who is this ghost? But there's also ladies prison going on on top of it and I am really enjoying it. I There's a lot left to happen and not a lot of pages but I have read The Girl on the Bridge by MC Carey and at the end everything was kind of rushed in but it felt right and also I don't remember there being any really unanswered questions um, that much in it. So I'm hoping it will be the same case in this. So that's it. I'm going to leave you for tonight. I'm going to go now and put my pyjamas on and get a cup of tea and maybe relax for an hour or so. And I think probably at midnight then, which is when it starts... I will check in with you again and we'll maybe get some fell side red before bed. I will see you in a little bit. I wanted to show you guys this. So when we're going up to the caravan tomorrow, um, they have in that town where we holiday a bring one, take one, free library book swap place. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean by explaining that. And this is all the books that I have read and some of them I've really liked and some of them I haven't liked but these are the books I've read that I don't want to keep. I'm not going to switch them all in one go but I am going to take all of these up to the caravan 
and then kind of every time I go up switch a couple whether I have some to donate or not this is kind of my stockpile that I've built up over the winter where we don't go up to the caravan so I don't know how many there's three six nine 12, 15, 16 books there. So I'll probably maybe switch about three. So if we are taking some of them down to the free book swap, I'll be able to show that to you guys as well. Hey guys, here we are. It is 11.58. So two minutes until the readathon officially starts. Um, I feel like all other YouTubers are up early. Um, they're hitting work, they're exercising, they're going to Starbucks. I'm here in my onesie at midnight waiting for my partner to go to bed so that I can make bacon and not have to share it and dig into my book. So I am going to, I'm not going to finish this tonight, there's no way, I'm exhausted. If I can finish my bacony cheesy Bready on healthy snacks. I do have some cucumber water, so that cancels it out, right? I am, um, yeah, I'll maybe just try and get like 20 pages or something done just while I'm having my before bed sneaky snack. Uh, and I'll either check in when I wake up in the morning or I'll wake up and just keep reading this until it's done and then check in and give you my thoughts. But either way, Good night, and I will see you on Thursday, which will be the first proper day of the readathon. Oh, I almost forgot. It really is going to be midnight when I start this because there's 59. I need to get up a not a timer, that's one thing, a stopwatch. And I'm going to do this for like every little section that I read and try and count my 25 hours across the five days. Um, I don't think it'll stay on the same time. Like if I open this again, it might change. So I'm just gonna screenshot all the times and then if I have to add up, I can. It's 12 so, o'clock. There we go, it's 12 o'clock and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Well, I have not done any reading today yet. I done very little last night so we're pretty much in the exact same place as yesterday but I got up this morning I had a wee bit of a lion because it's my day off and I got all my housework done. You might be able to hear the washing machine still going in the background so I'll not have too much to do throughout the day except just tidying up after myself and making our food. So that means that I think I'm free to read for the majority of today, which isn't really that long. So it's almost 12. Take into account that I need to have lunch. Um, Peter will be home from work at five and then I have to make our dinner and then we're leaving at half six to go to the caravan, which is like an hour and a half, two hours away. So that takes us like right up to like eight, half eight. And then we'll want to just like probably have a cup of tea and then maybe do like an hour of reading or something when we get there. So really everything that I'm going to do today reading wise is going to have to happen between now and five. And I also have to get my lunch in and do another couple of bits and pieces as well. So I've got my timer out. I've only done 15 minutes last night. So on my part but I left it at I was do, planning to do more when I had my bacony snack but I left it at like part four and I didn't want to do like and it like left it like a really suspenseful bit and sometimes I hate doing that to myself and sometimes I like like it because I was starting to feel a little I was really enjoying the book but like a little bit slumpy that's partly why I'm doing this readathon to try to give me a bit of motivation to read because I am enjoying it but for some reason I need to like reprioritize it. So I thought that leaving it on a bit of a cliffhanger would maybe like get me excited this morning to read and that has worked. So I've got my cup of tea and my book and my timer. So I'm probably gonna try to read for an hour-ish and then break for lunch and then we'll see how much we can get in before Peter gets home from work. So cheers and I will see you later. 
Hey guys, me again. I have just finished Fellside. It was so good. The ending was, well, I kind of seen like the main plot, how it was going to work out, but there was loads of wee things I didn't expect happen. And just as I suspected, it all came together like very quickly at the end, but everything was answered. That's my lunch. I'll be back in a second. I'm back I'm having noodles and chicken for my lunch. But as I was saying, I was just finished Fellside. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good ending. It all came together super well. So I think I'm going to give this five stars. I enjoyed it from start to finish. I didn't think there was any plot points that was unnecessary. And here's the cat coming to investigate. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. So I think I'm going to take a YouTube break just while I eat my lunch. And then I'm going to start with a queue. I wonder where my phone is oh here it is let's see how long it took me to finish fail side yes it took me an hour and 10 minutes so that's like not good so 25 and 5 so you'd have to read five hours every day and as i said this evening's going to be busy and sunday we're away for most of the day so i kind of have to make up sunday's hours in other days so this is going to be tight turn up would you like to say hello to the camera there you go say hello no she doesn't want to say hello are you going to sit here you can't sit here while i eat my lunch you can't sit here while i eat my lunch <laughs> there 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 baby she is the weirdest cat out so I'm gonna go now and enjoy my noodles and chicken and I'll probably wait until so it's about one o'clock now I'll wait until it's closer to five o'clock before Peter gets home and I'll tell you how much of the queue I have read and how I'm getting on so it is just past five o'clock and my goal was to get three hours read by five and it's just after five and I finished three hours and 15 minutes so Roughly on schedule. Not great, but not atrocious either. I'm over halfway through the queue. <clears throat> I am enjoying it. I'm finding my mind wandering a wee bit. And then kind of coming back and being like, wait, what just happened? Who who are they? Um, but I think that is me and not the book. Just this like trying to read as much as possible thing. Um, So I started trying to take like even just one chapter and like a two minute break. Even if it was just going to like fill up my glass with water or empty the bin or just something like really quick between every single chapter kind of to keep me engaged and to stop my mind from fogging over but I am enjoying it I don't well did I tell you what it was about so basically it's about um set in an Egyptian um country the writer is Egyptian and this is translated and it's a dystopian where you have to get everything that basically you want to do approved by the government but there's been some civil unrest and so they have closed the building in which you have to go to get all the paperwork to get these things done so of course this massive queue forms outside it and they don't know when the building's going to reopen and some of these people really need these things done and it sort of just looks at the people in the queue and like why they're there and their backstories and how this has all come about so it is definitely interesting um I, I'm really enjoying it. I don't want to talk about kind of like the main ideas behind it until it's over because I want to see how they like kind of follow it through and wrap it up before I put my opinions on top of it. But I am enjoying it and it is definitely thought provoking, um, which I guess is always a good sign. So Peter should be home from work any minute. I want to try and get maybe a couple more minutes in. And then when he gets home, I'll have to, like, as I said, make dinner and stuff. So I'll probably not get to read anymore until we get up to the caravan. So I'll probably not see you in again until we get up there. So I hope I have a good and quick journey and I will catch up with you later tonight. Hey guys, so we finally arrived at the caravan, but I doubt I'll be doing any reading tonight because there was a massive delay and it took ages to get here 
and we're tired so we are just going to have some snacks and watch Mean Girls. What are you looking at? I'm being a creep in the background. Oh you're being a creep in the background. Peter's being a creep in the background and we're going to watch <laughs> Mean Girls and then I'll go to bed and I will update you in the morning when I start reading again. Good morning. It is shortly after 10 a.m. on Friday. I don't know how we got to Friday from Wednesday, but here we are. I only have the littlest bit of the queue left. I'm almost up to my five hours, which would be like yesterday's reading. So I want to try and be at 10 hours by the end of today because that's like my two days of five. So I'm not really even caught up in yesterday's, but I'm close enough. But I wanted to film this because hopefully I'm not too blacklit. I wanted to show you the view of the ocean. The we're going to go for a walk now. We're trying to do a bit of um walking today because tomorrow's storm Hannah is going to hit and it's going to be like 50 mile an hour gusts and lots of rain, so we'll probably knock it out. So we're gonna go for a walk now and I am going to take these three books down to the book swap and when I come back I'll maybe do a mini haul and show you what I picked up. So I have been reading for five hours and ten minutes now which means I have completed yesterday's total and can start on today's but I finished the queue. I, I really liked it. The ending was weird. I'm a wee bit confused but at the same time I feel like I'll be thinking about this for a long time. Um, nothing really happens in it. You're just following these people's lives and what led them to be in the queue and how the queue formed. Um, but it definitely was quite interesting. I'm not sure if the translation Elizabeth Jacquette was the translator and I'm not sure if it was maybe the best work of translation ever. There was a wee couple of sentences that kind of jarred for me which kind of pulled me out of the story. I found it hard to like visualize the places in the story when they were talking about oh it went this far to here and it was near there and around there. I would have almost liked like a map of the town and if it had showed you like where the queue was. But definitely the stories were good and the whole idea was very interesting and the majority about it was about a universal like healthcare system and it was just very interesting the way it worked or didn't work in this case. And yeah, I was saying it's kind of like the Egyptian version of uh, 1984. So if that's the kind of literature you like, I would definitely give this one a go. It's a bit weird and wonderful and definitely not all questions are answered but um it was interesting so now i'm going to start on city of heavenly fire and finally finish this series i'm not sure yet whether i'm going to read the infernal devices is that the like the prequel to this series i'm not sure i really like the one three three of this series. I didn't like four and five as much so this is six. We'll see how this goes. But leave a comment down below if you've read Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices because I've heard quite a few people saying that they liked Infernal Devices more and it sounds a wee bit more to my taste so even though I haven't liked the last couple of books in this series I may try to get my hands on the Infernal Devices anyway. But first of all we'll see how this goes. So uh, just for the rest of the day I want to try and read as much as possible. We went to the book swap place and it was shut, it's not meant to be. Um, it is a Friday so it should be open from 10am to 4pm but it wasn't so I don't know what's going on there. Um, we'll maybe try tomorrow if it's not too rainy or we manage to get out so I'll probably have no reason to check in until tonight to tell you how far in this that I got and how much reading that I managed to accomplish and if I get my 10 hours done or not today. Good morning. As you can see it is not Friday night but now Saturday morning 
and that's because I didn't update you last night because basically my chronic pain thing acted up and I just spent most of the evening writhing in bed so I was not able to update you but I was able to do a bit more reading and I did barely just got my 10 hours done so that leaves me about 300 pages in to City of Heavenly Fire. I am enjoying this currently better than four and five in the series so hopefully um, at the minute I'm confident that it's going to be an okay ending and I'm going to finish it and like be happy that I read the series but we'll see. I'm sure like the people out there watching this who knew the ending of this book before I do is like no don't be so stupid but I'm going to, I'm going to trust that it'll be an okay ending. So that is basically it. I'm going to try and finish this today and then we're going back home tonight so I don't know whether I'll get this finished and I don't know if I get this finished what else I'm going to read because I didn't bring anything else with me. So um, hopefully the rest of this will take me up to my five hours and then I'll maybe try and get like a wee bit of something else done once I get home. I'm going to try and read this today. Storm Hannah arrived last night and she is very rainy and windy so we can't get out per se so that's maybe a good thing so we can basically just sit here and chill. We might try later on driving into town to see if the book swap visitor centre place is open today but who knows. So I don't see really apart from if we go and get some new books I'll do like a mini haul but other than that I'll probably just leave it to this evening and telling you whether I got my five hours done today or not. Or when I finish the book. Whatever comes first, five hours or finishing this, I'll see you then. Good evening. It is past 11 Saturday night and I have not yet finished with City of Heavenly Fire but I think I am done for the night. My timer stopped and like restarted itself at 12 hours. So it says 3.02, but that's 15 hours and two minutes, which is like just at today's total. Tomorrow is really busy because we have to get up and ready and then go to the in-laws for Sunday lunch. And we'll probably like stay there for a while, maybe take the dog for a walk or something. So I don't know when I will be back, but my goal is to wake up in the morning and try to get this finished. I have... But 150 pages left and if I could get that finished then I was going to for my next book reread Sense and Sensibility and I have it on audiobook as well and I was thinking although it's kind of cheating I could listen to the audiobook on the way to and from my in-laws and that would give me a wee bit of a head start. Not sure I'm not sure if that counts but like if I'm going to, if I'm only up to today's and I get like none done tomorrow, there's no way I can get 10 hours done on Monday. So I might just have to count some audiobooks and then when I get home, like just start from where the audiobook got me up to because it's about an hour drive there and an hour drive back. So if that could get, if I could get that done and then finish this in the morning, then I might only have like an hour and a half to do when I got home in the evening, which is more doable. So We'll see how it goes but I'm absolutely exhausted for day. We had to drive home which was long and went grocery shopping and I'm just <laughs> exhausted but thankfully I was gonna say thankfully I'm off tomorrow. My head is telling me that it has been Sunday all day but it's not Saturday so of course I'm off tomorrow and I am looking forward to it. This is being a bit more stressful than I thought. It's been harder uh, than I thought definitely really thought I would get that finished in today's five hours but I was reading it quite slow because a lot was happening and I was having to go over like pages and chapters quite a lot so like right who's this why have they entered what exactly is going on here let me reread that again in case it's important so I've been reading more slowly are you coming to say good night what kind of noise is that you sound like a little mouse are you coming to say good night good night it's nearly your bedtime too is it nearly your bedtime too? Well, I think the cat wants to be fed and put to bed. 
or maybe she just wants bedtime snuggles but either way I'm going to see to her and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Hi guys so it is a lot later since I have updated you guys it's actually cat do you want to move out of the way thank you it's actually the following week I am on Sunday of last week I think I last updated you on Saturday night of my Sunday plans on Sunday I didn't get to read anything I'm on Sunday night and um, my health took a real um downturn with my like chronic thing and on Monday I wasn't really able to read and I had to like go to the doctors and get like tests done and I had to be on like a lot of medication and it was making me kind of woozy and not able to read so I just wasn't I just wasn't able to finish the readathon. I think in the end I got about 17 hours or something done not the 25 but I did manage, manage to I just wanted to end the clip with me saying that I had finished this and um, that I actually really enjoyed it. I think I liked it more than four and five in the series. I thought it was a nice ending. The last 150, 200 pages were an absolute roller coaster. My emotions were a mess and I don't even really care about these characters very much. I think that was one of the reasons why I found it hard to connect with the series. But there was like some shocking plot twists. But I do feel also that there was a couple of like loose ends. Would you stop knocking the camera? There was a couple of loose ends, which I'm not really sure how I feel about, but I just wanted to like kind of end this, let you guys know why the readathon completely failed, and kind of let you know my finishing thoughts on this. But yeah, it was a complete fail of a readathon, and I think I actually probably read so much that I put myself off reading so that when I did get sick I was just like no can't do this anymore I gotta stop so it is what it is I'm still gonna post this video because I put effort into the clips and you might as well see everyone always does these readathons and reads like 15,000 books in a week and you might as well see how probably I believe most people readathons go that life gets in the way and it doesn't always go as planned so I managed to read three books yeah, I finished Fellside. I read The Queue and I also read this. So I think for five days that wasn't too bad at all. Unfortunately, just health-wise, I wasn't able to get the hours in or to keep updating you guys. But there we go. It wasn't the biggest fail in the world. I definitely got more reading done than I would have done if I wasn't trying to achieve it. I just didn't quite reach the goal. But there's no point in me blethering on about it. I'm just going to get up and keep going <laughs> and I just wanted to kind of end this out and post it so thank you for watching I'm not sure if it was at all interesting but we will see I am videoed it so I might as well post it I hope you're all happy and healthy and hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>